Folks, hello and welcome to Tavern Chat. I'm your host, Eric Tenkar, your bartender in the OSR, your main proprietor at the Tenkar's Tavern blog. So why do I have a Kickstarter up on my screen? And it's not Far West, right? Far West is like, holy crap, it actually can, it actually uh, landed before my 12th wedding anniversary. And it, that thing kickstarted before Rich and I got married. So, I mean, Far West, long in the tooth. Far West, I don't ever expect to see anything in, excuse me, in print. Probably ain't happening. Now, why are we looking at Sirens? Battle of the Bards. Well, because it's from Apotheosis Studios. And who, you might say, is Apotheosis Studios? And if you can't tell from those horrible ears and the artwork above, that is Satine and her uh, hubby, her partner in crime, uh, Jameson. So, look at this wonderful project. It took in nearly $300,000. It was supposed to deliver, oh, December of 2021. Okay, oh, deliver two years ago. So we're going to get into that. So look at this. Uh, endorsement by Luke Gygax. Um, endorsement by Deborah Ann Wool. You know, they, they were... Um, I don't know the the foremost gaming couple, uh, especially of the fifth edition community, right? They could do no wrong. Look, they had a VIP guest guest writers list. They got sixteen guest writers: Deborah Ann Wall, Chris Funk, Alex Cameron, Nerd Arc, Nerd uh, Keith Baker, Elisa Teague, Todd Stashwick, David Blue. And now we get people I never even heard of. Uh, Maud Garrett, Critical Bard, Amy Vorpal, Fenway Jones, Brandon Schoolhouse, Mitch Iverson, BJ Hensley, and Cynthia Marie. So they had this huge team assembled for this, supporting many, many VTT platforms. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Stretch goals. So you think, hey, we're two years late, but we're going to get there. We, we, we're going to get this out, right? You, you you think that that's what's going to happen. Well, we have an update. Yes, an update from November 6th. Sirens Battle of the Bards update. Hope you have had a great summer. Well, we're nearly through with the fall. Before the fall winter takes us over. We wanted to send an update to let you all know where we are with things. Well, that's real sweet. Still working in a way to ship the merch separately from the books, even if that means shipping items in waves. Oh, so that means things are ready, right? It means that people are going to be getting their shit. Playtest 1A is done. Now, what would come before 1A? Mm. Nothing, right? Playtest 1B, Playtest 2A, those come after 1A. Playtest 1? No. Playtest 1A is done, and we were hoping to cram everything, editing and more playtests, into the fall, but we hit burnout. Because, listen, folks, it is very stressful to uh, take advantage of a community, to uh, take advantage of... of uh, some of the movers and shakers in that community, that can really be stressful to have a, you know, cover for yourself. So they hit burnout. We never thought we would, could reach burnout, but we have. My heart, it bleeds. We're learning boundaries and how to care for our mental health. Now, wasn't like the emotional and mental health of the creators that they were working with or the creatives that they were working with part of the issue because they were abusive, but let's 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 not go there. Let's let's go there. And so while we have to find second jobs, what is their first job? 
if this is their first job and you can't get a project done two years after the due date, um, I think you might want to change careers. I'm just throwing that out there. And move into a new home in December. We are going to take a break from editing. Okay. Well, I don't, if you've only done one play test, I don't know what you're taking a break from, but hey, that's okay. Not my Kickstarter. In the Christmas and New Year snowy coziness, we plan on cuddling up with Queen RPG and hop back into editing and focusing on the book. Okay. Until then, we must focus on self-care, or the book will take even longer to finish. They're very worried about their their emotional and mental health, and I, I, I'm sure they should be. Why were those concerns never voiced about the peons that had to work for them? I don't know. Prior to last year, we were able to work triple shifts and get so much done in a short amount of time. Now, actually, they weren't the ones doing the triple shifts. Now, we are learning our limits. Two people are doing the work of 28, likely because the other 26 realized they weren't getting paid for the work they were doing. And it just takes much longer than we expected. Now, be that as it may, there are creators. Oh, let me see. Can I can I name a few? Oh, 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 oh I'm trying to think. People who can do oh, Rob Conley, uh huh, Greg Gillespie, uh, Alex Macris, um, um, oh hell, even Gareth Scarka at this point. Hold on, Hold on. no, seriously, seriously, folks, there are people that are basically one-man shows that get work done and get it out. The issue here, in my opinion, is that they were expecting to be the faces of this project and not being the workers of this project. And it may be that their talents don't line up with what needs to be put together. Just a thought. So, thank you for your kindness and patience while we slowly, now they're telling you, slowly progress towards the finish of this project. That tells you they don't see an end in sight. If they're saying, like, hey, no, original date, we wanted to get this to you was December 2021. It got pushed to summer of 2022. And I think they had a full team back then. See, you can't blame all this on, hey, we screwed up and social media tore us uh, new honey holes and now we're just by ourselves. No, this wasn't getting done prior. Okay? This had, was a year late before they did their infamous fuck up. So. You can't blame it on lack of lack of team. And then it pushed again to 2023, and it's going to be 2024. Yes, it's been two years since we planned on completing this beautiful project. We understand your frustration for not having the merch or books in your hands yet. Now, again, give credit where credit is due. If you can't get the product printed, Maybe there's a cash flow issue. I don't know. Get the PDF out there. They've only done playtest 1A. So, no. There's nothing for you, folks. We understand your frustration for not having the merch or books in your hands yet. We will continue to work in progress, except when we're not. When we take our time off for our, our mental health, our personal well-being. Um... I'll let you know when the beta playtest is ready. So, again, it's playtest 1A. It's not even in beta. We're not even at beta yet. 
We have learned a series of incredible lessons on this project. I'm sure they have. And even if it takes us the next couple of years. Yeah, oops. They just dropped a deuce on you right there. Is it that right? That's a couple. Uh, we aim to make it right to each and every one of you. You are de We are dedicated, and time will prove this true. Have a wonderful holiday season, and be kind to one another. Satine and Jameson, please be kind to us. So, folks, there you have it. That's the update. I'd like to get your feedback on it. I'd like to hear a few from you if you are a backer uh, of this project or any of their other projects. What you think of the quality that you've seen, I'd like to get your feedback. It, it's 5e. I would never have touched it anyway. But I do have friends that play 5e, and I certainly have converted 5e on a fly to OSR. So, you know, I'd like to know what you all think. On that note, be safe, be well. God bless. Roll those dice, roll them well. Tomorrow, live stream, 8 p.m. Eastern on this very channel. Uh, random party generator, me and a bunch of my regular irregulars. Should be a lot of fun. Hope to see you then. Be good. God bless.